Hello. Happy Monday to all of you. It is good to be together. Um, we are going to continue in our devotion on gratitude and giving thanks to God. We started this last week and we will just continue on um, as we are in the month of November and we are nearing closer and closer to the day of Thanksgiving. But tonight I wanted to talk about the importance of giving thanks in times of hardship, in times of sorrow, and when things just really suck. And I'm going to just name that. Things have been hard lately. And we are still called as Christ followers to give thanks even in the midst of our pain and our suffering, in our trials, um, and in our sorrows. And so... I wanted to read a scripture for us, uh, James chapter 21, or sorry, James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4 says, Consider it great joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you experience various trials, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. So we know that truly anytime we face hardship we are going to learn so much out of it um, whenever we have trials we will grow a tremendous amount as human beings um, but it doesn't make it not painful and i do think it is important to name the hardships as they come and to grieve them appropriately um, so this Sunday, I had to make the really hard announcement that our conference is going to cease. So our Methodist conference is going to cease indoor worship until January. And that is really hard because people are incredibly disappointed that they're not going to be able to gather in the sanctuary that they love and have all of the wonderful Christmas traditions that they love. And I am absolutely grieving it too, alongside everyone else. And the truth is, our bishop is grieving it. Our cabinet is grieving it. Um, I don't know anyone who is happy and enjoying this pandemic. It does. It sucks. But we are faced with choices every day. And... When I got the news that we were going to be um, kind of stopping indoor worship and continuing other creative means of ministry this Advent season, I took a minute to mourn and grieve and be frustrated with all of the things that this year has brought. And then I did something that brought me joy and I decorated the house for Christmas. And I put up our Christmas tree and I watched some of my favorite Christmas movies and I got to a place where I realized, you know what, just like everything else this year, it is going to look different this Advent. Christmas Eve will be different. Um, our cases are rising exponentially in Billings. Um, things are not safe and we are going to have to come up with creative, safe ways of worshiping together, just like we have all year long. Um, my sermon on Sunday was all about reimagining and we have been reimagining what it means to be the church this year. And so in the midst of sorrow, in the midst of hardships, I think the importance of Thanksgiving and bringing God into it is knowing that somehow God is going to redeem all of these messy situations in the way that only that wily Holy Spirit can. Um, you know, we have an opportunity right now to make incredible memories that we will remember for the rest of our life in Christmas 2020 because it is going to be so different. And just like folks who lived through World War One and World War II, and they celebrated Christmas and it was hard and it was painful and there were things to mourn and then there were things that were frustrating and there were things that they had to sac sacrifice. Um, 
there are also so many beautiful things and things that to this day, I know folks that lived through World War II and fought in World War II that they were like, oh my gosh, I will never forget this. I will never forget how I watched our country band together. I will never forget the gratitude that I had for the little things after living through such a hard time. And so um, when you think of lemonade or wine, depending on what you like, um, both come from something really sour sour grapes and sour lemons, and they make something really sweet and enjoyable. And it's just the same with God. It just is that no matter what situations and hardships we have and we go through um, this year or any other year, even a normal year where we're not in a pandemic, we have hard stuff. We have things that make us fall to our knees and hold our hands in our head and just cry. Um, because in this world we have pain and suffering. Um, even in those moments though, when we can, let us remember that God is still working. God is still in the midst of bringing hope, of bringing restoration. Um, we can still know that God's response to our suffering is not only love and comfort, but also transformation and redemption. Um, I can truly say there is nothing that has happened in my life that wasn't excruciatingly painful that God has not somehow used for good. Um, and that's just the truth. So we have a choice, loved ones. We always have choices, and I talk about this all the time, that we can give God thanks for all of the things that we can do this coming Christmas, this Advent season. We can give God thanks for all of the ways that God has provided for us and met us. Um, we can give God thanks for creativity, um, the movement of the Holy Spirit in the midst of this time. Or we can just pout and continue to pout and have bad attitudes for this entire time and kind of sort of be like the Grinch. So I would encourage you to take some time to grieve that yeah, some of your favorite Christmas traditions aren't gonna happen this year. I am not gonna get to see my sister for Thanksgiving or for Christmas because she is in Chicago in a lockdown and this will be the longest I have ever not seen my sister and I cry about it pretty much every day, if not at least just a couple times a week. It is awful, but I also know that it's not forever, right? So let us focus on the and dream on the possibilities of what this year and this Christmas can be, of what this Advent, can, Advent season can be, because we're never gonna have this time again. Um, the last pandemic was in 1918, and I'm sure Christmas looked a lot different to them too. Um, but just know and trust that in the midst of our kind of global story, in the midst of our church story, and in the midst of our personal stories, um, God is still with us and even in the sorrows and in the hardships. Um, God is making lemonade out of lemons and wine out of sour grapes. And God will redeem this year and this Christmas. He just will. So um, we are excited to be coming up with an outdoor Christmas. Um, there's all kinds of possibilities of, you know, singing Christmas carols outside and, you know, handing out hot chocolate and having candles and all kinds of wonderful things that are going to be so special and memorable. We are going to have some really fun projects and gifts that we will be handing out for Advent. Um, and we will continue to come up with creative ideas for loving and serving our community and for supporting each other. So just know I love you. Know that I get that this is hard. Know that I understand that you don't like this. I don't like this and no one likes this, but... 
God is still with us. And so I thank God and I have a posture of gratitude tonight on November 16th because I know that God is faithful and that God will bring us through and bring us through in some really cool, miraculous ways that are going to surprise us. Um, I give thanks to God for how the Holy Spirit is going to surprise us in Advent in all the wonderful ways. And I give thanks to God for all of the moments of joy and wonder and hope that we will have together um, and apart this season. So know that I love you all. Um, and I just want to pray Romans 15, 13 over you tonight. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I love you all and I will talk to you on Wednesday. Bye.